So uh, today we'll be checking out the Bugisto mobile app builder that uh, basically creates a fully native Android application for your Bugisto e-commerce store and thereby you can increase the accessibility of your Bugisto store. The apps can be published on the Google Play Store with real-time synchronization of products, categories, customers, orders, etc. between your Bugisto website and the mobile app itself. Apart from that, it offers the best features with which the customers remain engaged uh, to the mobile application there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you the uh, Bugisto mobile app builder functionality in the admin backend panel. So we'll be checking the initial configurations and then how to set up the home page and the rest of the things for the mobile application there. But before that, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. So uh, right now you can see that I'm at the back end of the Bugisto uh, e-commerce web store. And I'll be logging into the admin back end panel by entering my uh, email and the password and tapping on the sign in button. So first of all, we'll be checking the initial configuration settings. So uh, for that, uh, you have to navigate on the side panel. You have to go to the configure and after that you have to tap on the mobicool itself let me show you that uh, it was automatically opened up so you'll go to uh, the very end here tap on the settings and from here uh, you'll have to choose mobicool and uh, then you can see the configuration there for the mobicool basic configuration as you can see here so here we have two sections uh, one is the Mobicool basic configuration. The other one is the FCM push notification parameters. So let's go through each of them one by one. So uh, the very first option here is the username and then we have the password. So uh, for the username, the admin needs to provide uh, the username for the Mobicool and this is used for connecting to the respective server. The username is also required to mention in the code end as well. Then we have the password. So here the admin will provide the password for the Mobicool and uh, this will be used with the above username for the connection to the server itself. Then we have the uh, collection page size. So uh, here you need to set up the number of products that you want to display on the collection page of your Mobicool application at a time. So you can set that up from this collection page size uh, section. Then we have the enable random featured products in home page. So if you choose it, uh, choose this option as a yes, then the featured image would be displayed on your Mobicool application and it will be taken on a random basis there. Otherwise you can choose it as a no as well. Then we have the allowed CMS pages. These pages uh, are visible to the customers under the other, uh, other th under the more section on the mobile uh, application itself. And uh, from here the admin can select the CMS pages which they want to show in the mobile app itself. Now after this configuration we have the FCM push notification parameters. So uh, if the admin needs to set up the push notification feature for the Mobicool mobile app then he must require the section fields to be set up. And for the API key uh, the admin needs to provide the server API key uh, which he'll get after registering himself on the Firebase console registration. Then we have the Android topic and the iOS topic. So for the Android one, it is used for sending the notifications on the group basis on Android devices. And the topic name which uh, you'll be providing in this field will be the name of the group. And this will include all the mobile devices which have installed your application. The same goes for the iOS also. It is used for sending the notifications on the group basis on the iOS devices. And uh, uh, the uh, topic name that you'll uh, provide in this field will be the name of the group and this will include all the mobile devices which have installed your application there. Uh, after making these uh, configuration settings, uh, you just need to tap here on the save button. Now thereafter, after the successful installation, uh, apart from this uh, configuration and settings uh, section, uh, you'll find the Mobicool option on the left hand side panel and tapping that up would bring up uh, the complete listings here. Uh, that would be used for uh, configuring the mobile home page and the rest of the features there. So here you can see that we have the featured categories, banner images, notifications, 
carousels, carousel images, custom collection, and the Mobicool uh, order history. So uh, the very first one that we have is the featured categories. And here, uh, for the first time when you'll come, this section would be empty, so you'll have to create your featured categories. And uh, these would be visible at the very top of the uh, home page, at the very top, and the customers can uh, scroll through them to select any of the featured categories so as to check the products within the same. So to add a new uh, featured category, you have to tap here on the Add Featured Category button on the top right hand corner and that will bring up the new featured categories uh, section wherein we can create a new featured category. So what you need to do is you need to set up the featured category icon here. Uh, so after selecting the icon uh, or the image there, you have to set the sort order for this particular featured category. Uh, then you have to choose the channel uh, or the store view. Then you will have to enable the featured category status and then you can choose any of the categories uh, from the available ones. Uh, for example, this one and uh, uh, I've enabled it. I have not uh, edited the image and then you have to tap here and, and uh, this would uh, basically create your, create your featured category and it would be listed here under the featured categories. Now you can also uh, check the status as enabled here and uh, you can also edit or delete any of the featured categories that you have created. To edit you have to tap here on the edit button and that would bring up the edit feature category section and from here you can make the changes or uh, you can change the categories as well. And after making the changes just tap here on the save featured category button and the changes would be saved there. Now after the featured category we have the banner image. Uh, on the mobile app, uh, on the top we had the featured categories and then uh, we had the banner images. Now the banner images uh, can be of two types, one is the product uh, uh, banner, banner and the other one is the category banner. Now to uh, add a banner, uh, you have to tap here on the add image button uh, so that uh, it will uh, create the banner image uh, there. Then you have to set the banner title. You can set the banner title, you can add the image for the banner, uh, you can set the sort order. Uh, then under the banner type for product or category, you can choose product. If you've chosen product, then uh, you can enter the product IDs here. Uh, otherwise, if you have chosen the category, then you have to enter the category ID here. And accordingly, what that uh, does is that when on the front end, the customers are uh, scrolling through the banner images, for the respective image, if it's set as product, then uh, the particular product that you entered here, product number would be displayed to the customer. Otherwise, the category IDs or the categories that you've added here would be visible after tapping on the uh, respective uh, banner image there. Then you have to choose the default view and set the banner status as enabled and then tap here on the save button to save the banner and the banner then would be listed under the banner images here. You can also edit or delete any of the banner images as required. So here you can see that we've created the banner type as a category. Uh, one is the category, one is uh, the uh, product type. So uh, in the second video for this uh, uh, application for the mobile app uh, for the Bagisto, you can check. I've just shown there how these category uh, banners and the product uh, banners appear on the home page. Now after that we have the notification section so here you'll be able to create uh, and uh, add notifications you can add edit and delete the uh, created notifications as well as per your requirement there to add a notification you just need to tap here on the add notification button and that will bring up the new notification section wherein you can enter the notification title uh, the notification content the image uh, for the notification itself and uh, you can choose the notification type as uh, whether the notification that you're sending is for a product type or whether it's for a category or it's for the other type or for the custom collection. Now here you can see that we in the second last option we have the custom collection. So from the drop down you can choose the custom collection and then you can uh, start typing in uh, the uh, custom collections that you have created and uh, using their name you can add those up here and when this notification reaches the customer, when he taps on that, he'll be redirected to that particular uh, col custom collection that the admin has set up here. And lastly, you can enable or disable it by choosing enable and disable. And then you have to tap here on the save notification button. 
and that would save the notification and the notification would then get listed here under the notification section uh, after that we have the carousals now the home page of the mobile app uh, is divided into many carousals uh, the uh, the carousals can be of the image type product type featured top offered so depending up depending upon your requirement there uh, the feature and the offered ones would be there you can add the uh, carousals as image and the product as well so here you can see that I've uh, added summer offers new arrivals upcoming products so, so the summer offer is of the image type the new arrival is of the product type upcoming products of the product type so uh, let's uh, try and add one carousal here so you have to tap here on the add carousal button to add a carousal so I'll set it as test uh, I'll choose the type as image type here you can upload the uh, background image uh, here you can set the background color code the sort order for this uh, carousal that we are going to create and the channel view and uh, then we have to choose the uh, carousal image status so after you've saved this uh, carousal what you need to do is uh, uh, let me uh, upload a background image uh, for this uh, just give me a second for that so I've just edited the background image here and uh, so I've set the title the type as image type carousal uh, the background image uh, the uh, sort order store view and the carousal image status has been set as enabled and thereafter we can tap here on the save carousal button and the carousal has been created successfully so here you can see the banner image is there the uh, title is test now what you can do is because this is of the image type we can uh, basically tap here on these uh, uh, three dots there and then we can choose the uh, products that we want to assign to this particular uh, image carousal type so this image carousal type when uh, is accessed by the customer at the mobile end uh, tapping on the image there brings up the uh, carousal images uh, that you have added here and you can see that uh, the carousal images are of the product type and of the category type now the carousal images uh, have to be created here under the carousal images on the left hand side these are the three ones and this one uh, the new summer collection is of the category type so if uh, the customer taps on this uh, 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 carousal that we just uh, tried creating for the uh, image type then the categories uh, would be displayed uh, for other for the uh, women's shirt if the uh, if the customer taps on that uh, of taps on the carousal of image type uh, then the product would be displayed to the customer and uh, now let's go back to the carousal here so that was how we can create an image type carousal uh, now I'll just show you how we can add uh, the other types as well so we can also uh, choose it as product type uh, featured product and the top of word product as well let me go back and let me show you the rest of the ones that I've already added so here you can see that this is the image type this one is the product type uh, here as well after you've saved it you can add the products to this by tapping here on the three dots and from here you can choose the products that you want to have within this particular product carousal okay so let's go back so that was the product type and the uh, the top offered within that you just need to select the top offered and the featured and the particular carousals will be set up on the mobile home page there so uh, under the carousal images uh, we can add multiple carousal images that can be used uh, for the uh, image type carousal as well so uh, let's go to the carousal images first to add an image just tap here on the add image button add the uh, carousal image set the title carousal image type can be of the product type or the category type if product type enter the product ID if category type enter the category ID enable the image status and tap on the save button to save that particular carousal image and that would then be listed here under this particular section lastly we have the uh, custom collections so from here you can uh, add multiple uh, custom collections as per your own requirement and uh, to add a new one just tap here on the add collection button uh, set the collection name uh, set the status whether enabled or disabled then you can choose the product collection here as a product name latest product count or the product attributes if product attributes have been chosen then you can choose the attributes here 
then price from and to values uh, so as to display those uh, products in the collection otherwise uh, if you go for brand you can choose the brand name for SKU you need to enter the SKUs here so that was the product attributes you can also choose to have uh, the collection as for the latest product count then you can enter the latest product count here uh, for the product name you need to enter the product name here and that would be auto uh, populated here and similarly you can add multiple uh, product names here for the collection there so that was about the custom collection and these would be then listed here again under the custom collection section and lastly we have the mobicool uh, order history so let's go to the mobicool order history here the admin can find the complete list of orders uh, that have been placed uh, through the mobile application and uh, the admin can tap here on the view actions as well to view the particular order and from here he can uh, create a, he can invoice uh, the uh, order or he can ship the order as well to complete the status of the order that was placed through the mobile application there so yes that was uh, much about the mobicool uh, configuration section uh, and uh, we just went through a brief overview of uh, featured categories banner images notification carousals carousal images custom collection and the mobicool order history you can check the second video where i've shown exactly the featured categories banner images uh, carousals carousal images custom collection as well so yes that was much uh, for the backend configuration uh, for the uh, Bugisto mobile app builder for the more Bugisto mobile app itself and uh, if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements kindly get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com and if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up and lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.